So this time, we're starting from the beginning. Ah, oh, we can just skip like that. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I've been reading some people had trouble getting certain endings because they didn't start from the beginning each time and it kind of fucks up some of the endings if you try and just load from a safe state. Even though all of this is like, as you can see, it's just like if I press this button. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. This is all intro. Nothing is happening. Look, it's Kazuaki. Look, it's Sakuya. Look, it's Hiyoko again. There's Sakuya. And it's just like, it's just... And now we're on the next day. And it's Nageki is here. The tragic Nageki. Yeah, look, there he is. And if we just press this, it will take us to the next decision. And we've seen all this before, so it doesn't really matter. Here's Yuya. We're going after Yuya this time. We're going after Yuya because I saw the achievement and thought, oh, that seems like an interesting title end. Nobody's here. So we'll start from here, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. <sighs> Today's been a weird day. Um, some days when you're teaching, it's screaming kids, shrieking constantly, and just ignoring everything you say. And the parents tutting at you because they seem to think, I've let my kid run riot its entire life, and I just ignore its shitty behavior, and I'm surprised now that it's being given to anybody else, that it's literally also thinking, I just can do whatever the fuck I want, I don't need to care because I've literally never said anything to him, or her, or it. Um, Ninja Doctor. Yes, we still gotta do the doctors, don't we? We've never said any word of discipline to him because I'm just too much of a funky mom. I look so good, look at my iPhone and my Starbucks. I'm wearing high heels, I don't need to care. I had the baby, I had the baby to shut the family up. Now I just ship the baby around, cheat on my husband and drink to Starbucks. <laughs> like, you know, and you're like, you can tell certain, certain parents just don't give a fuck. But suddenly, are like, um, this guy, this hapless motherfucker I'm just offloading my kids on and I'm too racist to speak to, hasn't resolved my kids' massive behavioral problems. And you're like, your kid is screaming and crying at me because I told them no once. That's worrying. Other days, it's having a phone call with a 14-year-old and talking to them about Shrek for half an hour. And getting paid like 200 an hour to talk to somebody about anything in English. And that's what I did today. Just the Shrek thing. Not, not the... Yesterday was the behavioral nightmare, which is dealing with kids who have basically been told their whole life, okay, darling, you can have whatever you want. And then you say to them, can we just do a class where you're not throwing shit up the walls, screaming and ignoring me? Can we just take their toys away for five seconds and then sit and go, hmm, I don't get my toy. And you're like, because it's a fucking class. <laughs> you know, and the tears are just give her back the toy, otherwise they won't and then she, she won't make a noise with the toy within five minutes. Bang, bang, bang on the desk again and you're like Fuck these kids. <laughs> like you know, straight up like no. And then yeah, today was a better day. Look it's Okasan. You can speak for Okasan. This is still just, yeah, so anyway, um, and today was me getting a phone call where I do phone conversational classes with this international student who's used to being in standard conversation with people all the time, and I'm just like, I'm like, she's not providing 
any. She's not. She's very bad. At, okay, infirmary. I'm going after you, yeah. If we fuck up, we manage to get the doctor. I, I don't know. And, uh... The guide I read said, Math is the best one, and I'm like, okay, for this. Not necessary, but it's got more flags or something. And you're like, okay, glad someone told me. I need a flowchart, but then it tells me the answer too well, you know. Yeah, and um, today was one of those days where you're just like, hey, the kid wants to talk about kids' movies, and then I accidentally wheel the conversation into about 20 to 25 minutes of me basically talking about how fucking ridiculous Shrek is. <laughs> like, you know, all the references that are going to go over the kid's head because they're action movies and stuff, and like... So yeah, like, let's be realistic here. You'd have to be a Time Lord to be able to date Yuya if this was, like, a time continuum and not a constant parallel universe back and forth thing. Because you don't know where he works, you know, and then you're like, oh, I didn't expect you to be here. And he's in a place where you're like, really? He works at the infirmary. Huh? The drawer's open. Everything was neat, but maybe the doctor was careless. I think I'll... I'm pretty sure it told me to leave it alone! So as you start going down the shoe route, the doctor might show up and turn me into Hiyoko Salami. Cats can have a little salami. That's what my cat tries to do anyway. I don't leave salami around anymore. Oh, hike. Yes. Is Yuya at the hike? Oh, I think this is talk to Kazawaki. Yeah, he's not here, so I just talk to Kazawaki. Hmm. You're a funny girl, Tosaka. So you took a nap. <laughs> Maybe he does have an illness. Let's hope Yuya's ending isn't like really lame now if we get it. <clears throat> Cause um <clears throat> Yeah, um Cause uh if Yuya's ending doesn't deepen the plot the overarching plot of the mystery of the missing students and what shoes up to, I'm going to be annoyed. Sports festival. I'm going to guess infirmary again. Do, 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 do. So yeah, you know, it's very up and down. Like, I prefer one-on-one -on -one classes with students who elect to be there, as most teachers do, you know? That's why I want to move into IELTS, which is like the... Oh, well, I doubt this is that interesting. But if you're foreign, if you're non-English, non-native, and you want to work in any job in England or any of those countries, America and stuff, you have to have it. And if you want to teach English, you really have to have it if you're not a native speaker. And uh, about seven or higher on it, actually, on that scale, which is near fluency. Um, near, like, native fluency. Um, and, well, all those students, they, they're paying a lot of money and they've elected to be there. And they're like, this is really important for my career that I get this. So I'm going to work really hard. It's not some bored motherfuckers who are like, Oh, I have to learn English, you know, <laughs> because the government says so. Or, oh, my mum just chucks me in here while she sleeps with a fucking gardener. <laughs> like, you know, or goes get Starbucks or goes to the gym. Does all the things stupid middle class women do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yoga, whatever. What's he doing over there? So we're talking to you, yeah.
Yes, sir. Patching up damage does. First barrier for all students, midterm exam. Yeah, you'll want to be teaching people. It's, it's like I always equate it to... Um, sorry, I'm just talking over this because we've seen it all before like eight times. If you're watching them chronologically. Yay. Um, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like rehab. T education is very much like rehab. If you just chuck some people in there who have no intention of adhering to what's going on. They won't concentrate. I'm gonna go ahead and say infirmary. Oh shit! Is there a rewind button? We're supposed to go to the store where he hits on us and tell him he's a rude boy. Come on rude rude boy, get it up. Get up your... No, okay, let's not talk about pigeon dicks. <laughs> So now we've probably accidentally fucked everything and now we're half shoe and uh, I just came here to skip class. Just don't get the idea, I want to skip. Get out. <laughs> Kicked out at the speedo light. Why take school life seriously if you can just retake it? Like the entire thing, like a time lord. To meh. Sometimes the guides I read though are like, just mainline this thing and you're like, oh okay. And then you miss a very critical flag which is like gym class number 7 or something really weird like that. And they're like, oh well I got it last time because I didn't think about that. And you're like, oh, like, <laughs> probably fucked up the flags now. <sighs> well we'll see an ending. Sure we'll see an ending. You'll see so many endings. Any birdie? Yeah, you is here. Nana key. No shoe. Roll the wood from the shadows. Hello. Nana keys. Uh. Thank you. That's a guess. I'm sorry, Nanakis. I should really just have it like next to me in like notebook form. <laughs> ah well. We sure we'll see an ending. Might be the ending where we fucked everything up and the ghosts come to kill us. Or something. Hard to say. I read something like that. <laughs> The punctions make a return. You read the same bad jokes like five times and you're like, oh my god, school is boring. <laughs> yeah, it really is a case of, like, if you want to learn, you will learn. And given any options to learn, you will learn. If you're the kid who's like, no, I don't want to go to school then you're not going to learn, and teaching those kids is like trying to drag a horse over your shoulder down a mountain whilst they kick you in the back, because they don't want to learn, <laughs> like, you know. You heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pigeonations? What happened to Brian the Talking Pigeon? Well, you're all talking. Yu Yu tells me that, and I feel like a fucked up if Yu is not here telling me about Brian the Pigeon. Has he ever done anything to you? Well, you're a girl. I'm worried. That's true. It doesn't matter if boys get murdered. <laughs> Hashtag feminism. <laughs> uh, you sure look like you woke up on the What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You talking to me? I don't touch them just they ain't no rat. Doesn't look too good. Uh, 
they were. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to pee her butt off, so I said, <laughs> go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, you haven't been rifling or other firearming through my stuff. Other firearms are available. <laughs> Not what that means. Uh... It sounds like Doctor suspects Yuya of touching his shit while he was out, and he don't like his shit being touched. Who doesn't? <laughs> Let's be fair. He's lying. I was masturbating furiously. I was... Ah! The detection on that. Don't like the Doctor. He's a bit of a creep. <laughs> You and I were having a sexy and luxurious sunbath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. Sexy and luxurious it was indeed. Well, Doctor! Very well. I shall have to wait for more solid evidence for my totally rational stabbing later. Please, do be careful of my knives! Of course, Creepy doctor. Theme of tension, by the way. What? Forgive me, I can't explain. Juan de. And away I go. What the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> is something really happening? Dwing. Dwang. Saga. Bah. Well done. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Let's just make weird Schwarzenegger noises. Whoa. Today's the last day. Oh, it's been a semester already. Don't know what that was. Sometimes. Oh, I'm not reading this. Ah, oh, I don't want to read this. Cleaning. Oh, I'll be here every day. Nothing I could do to help. No. Um, that's all. Experiments. If the school doctor is like, I'm doing experiments, that's not his job. <laughs> like, if he was like a chemistry, like, research fellow, it would be a little different. Or a chemist. He's none of these things, and they don't just give out, like, ridiculous grade medicine to school doctors. Maybe Japan's weirder than I thought. Maybe Pigeon Japan's even weirder. I don't know. Oh, we're, we're at a Zami. Yeah, yeah. No bueno. A hill. A house. Glob. Speed. As I It's going way too fast. It fast forwards a whole day each time. Uh, I still have a lot of homework work. Part time job. Get a job. Forget it. I don't need your. There we go. Too dumb to click a button. Jacking off and having fun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't misread that. I was just being an immature asshole. Uh, some festival. Invite the Yui's. Salutations. I'm honored as <laughs> your escort tonight, my love. Seriously, considering his character, you should be able to miss quite a few flags and him still because he's hitting on you all the time. Never keeps it lazy, so I always show up half an hour early. That's ridiculous. Shall we go? No. A successful festival indeed. Take my hand in my weird wing, lest the crowd separate us. Nani. Don't tell me your hand about me. <laughs> 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 
Fudge. <laughs> Too lewd, they're holding hands. Better late than never, you were the one who invited me. Okay. Okay. He doesn't have hands. Does it really constitute hand holding? It's wing holding. His feathers are soft. Don't want to think of weird feather covered human hands, okay? That was fun, Hiroko. Where do you live? Where do you live? Uh. I don't. Restraining orders. What is it? You want to play some more? <laughs> the night is yet young, and if dangerous games are your desire, I will accompany you. <laughs> Why am I reading it like a fucking theater hack? <laughs> Not what I want. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Of course, just my height and weight classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lie to the doctor? Hmm. <laughs> Staring into your birdie eyes. And then he got shot. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go through your work. Yes. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I hadn't seen you before I went to the infirmary. But you told the doctor that we'd been together. Why? That was a month ago, drop it, you fucking weirdo. I was hoping for... <laughs> yeah, drop it, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> you knew I was lying then, well, so why did you play along? Because Dots are mad, I felt like if it didn't help you, he's going to do something to you. Rigorously. Hey, I'm asking questions here. Sorry, man, I mean, your instincts are too much for me. But yes, if you hadn't helped me back then, I'd probably be in little plastic. <laughs> So straight up we cannon killed him in another thing. That's not funny. It isn't funny and it's not a joke. Ahaha! Confusing messages. Please give me a straight answer. <laughs> I'm always straight in love. Almost always. <laughs> no, I meant twang. Uh Yoko, could you do me a favor and shut the fuck up? You're just trying to avoid the question. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, I'll only say this once. Dwang? What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around, almost nervously. I'm sorry, mon ami. It looks like we had better split up. Can you get home by yourself? Uh, Sure. Good girl. We'll part ways. <laughs> Good girl, that's so patronizing. <laughs> Always as soon as we reach the intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. They're laden with traps. Why? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? He told me not to look back. Gun noise! Gunshot. Okay, this is getting deep. We're not gonna... <laughs> Just gunshot, oh well. Better go to sleep. Send me an email. Do you make it home? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fine. What about the fucking gunshot? <laughs> I'm good. You? <laughs> I'll be visiting in your dreams. Sleep well. This, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> There's no trace of the tension. Are you alright, Yuya? He really is mysterious, bird. I assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries. Not enough questions asked. Late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. This feels new. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life cancelled. Wah! Yuya's just materialized. He's apparently just pretending to be a raccoon now, so. Uh, what are you doing? Have you fallen? <laughs> I've fallen so far, mongrel! Jesus! 
You sound like a certain someone. I can't believe you need to fish around in trash cans for food. Don't misunderstand, I was looking for something. No clues to be found in this barrel. What is he on about? Is he like the Inspector Clouseau of this universe? Let's keep this a secret from Sakuya, shall we? I would hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal. Something like that. I will like to escort you home, but unfortunately I'm somewhat busy rummaging around in trash right now. Will you be alright not hanging out with a trash fishing... Yeah, I can always find my way home. Especially when I'm drunk. Uh, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> The smell of garbage surround him, surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night, but the mysteries don't. What was he looking for? Ah, oh, I don't even fucking know anymore. <laughs> ah! Never get up when you first wake up, that's a terrible advice, don't ever do that. I've learned a lot from my cat and it's, if you want to sleep, sleep. Who's going to complain? Your supervisor? <laughs> uh, I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm going to be late. God may judge me, but his sins outnumber my own. Uh, <laughs> Tasaka. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Ah. Date. Fourth wall break. Oh. You're early. Wah. I don't know what the answer is here, so I'm just gonna help the Kazuax. Kazuwank. It's like a proper little lady. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? The tea is Venna! It has mango in it. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't mind trying that now. I need to get mangoes and avocados, that just reminded me. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, I hope you had fun. I had mango tea. Okasan is pudding. Yup, yup. Yeah, speed speed. <laughs> 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 Seriously, all of that was just no decisions? That's like three days? Well... Shorter LP. Meh. You're dull. Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? He looks hapsky. I don't care what Sakuya thinks. I'm after his brother. <laughs> this is such a weird game. <laughs> like, what? Did you die? What? This happened last time. Cleaning in the morning. What are you, communist? <laughs> Okasan. <laughs> the the race war starts now, apparently. Stop being wholesome. Never explained. Not enough for a futon, but it'll make a nice pillow. More than usual. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. You spill some chlorine on yourself. Chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. You really smell like chlorine. Oh, that, that would be the bleach. Bleach? Those degenerates that bathes with bleach powder. Someone tell me, can you bathe with bleach powder? I thought that would probably fuck up your skin pretty badly. 
I know you can use that quite chemical level of soap. What's it called? There's that chemical soap that you normally use to hand wash clothes. You can use that on your skin, but it's like really, it's very like industrial smelling. So you got stuck in the washing machine. <coughs> hmm, yes, I'll. Z <coughs> Like, he, like, even though I got his ending, he feels a little suspicious, you know? It's like, oh, you just have chlorine on you? Why? Oh, that's the bleach, and it feels like misdirection, and the feathers in the classroom, and, like... And this lady's so ignorant, because it's like, she doesn't realize you, you just disappears. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I can't ignore this threat. I should go get that you, you dick. Ah, they're stuck in a classroom. Yeah, seriously, where are they? I, I, like, this is like a cafe in Brussels level of ridiculousness. Like, <laughs> I like that outfit. That's good. Yeah, I kind of need to come to see. M Wait, no. Welcome back, my lady. Please come this way. He does look good. Sugoi, <laughs> I think I'm blushing. We're not fooling anyone. He said to everybody. It's my duty for today. Please forgive me, my lady. Tips for Dora. Jeez. What's your class doing, mon ami? A maid cafe. Well, well. We are rivals. Rival schools? You clearly done. <laughs> Good job of infiltrating our base. I think that's a bit much. Especially when I dropped rival schools and, you know. You're not on duty today, or are you taking a break? I'm on duty tomorrow. I say in that case, I shall come witness your meadery. <laughs> I will, of course, ask for you. <laughs> I wage your return, must. <laughs> this is getting weird. To be fair, he's the only guy who knows how to say nice things and isn't just like a racist, a narcoleptic, boringly wholesome, or obsessed with pudding. So like, you know, or straight up a murderer, <laughs> like, you know, come to pigeonations. <laughs> we have these people. It doesn't seem like a particularly dirty room, but for some reason they always run out really quickly. And keep him waiting. Blast off at the speed of light. Roaming around at the speed of sound. Oh yeah! Huh? I found his corpse. Oh. Mr. One or Mr. One? Is this supposed to be said Japanese or is it called Mr. One? You look like the dude from the coffee shop. The quiet foppish bird with a cult following to get along with this inf infamous stud muffin. What? I don't think we'll find any evidence. Right, I'll check the others. You ya! <laughs> Salutations, mon ami. I was waiting for you. Here, I'll take the heavy stuff, you take the brew. That is that then. He retreats into his lair with an unsociable expression. Seems like kind of a loner. I wonder if he's if it's part of the job description. That's so mean. He's a nice fellow once you get to know him. He's testament to the great justice. You're friends with him. I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Hmm. I should be a janitor. No, I still have to work at a school, though. Uh, we go. <laughs> I love that. I need to have my career all worked out by the time this year. Let's ask this asks you here for advice. Sakazaki. Did Sakazaki come in the morning? Yeah, he was here this morning. Don't worry, he went. Doesn't he attend class? He's never been particularly serious. He isn't even here half the time. I don't think he's planned to go to university. I never realized. 
If he's still here, he's probably at the infirmary or the shop or dead. I'll go to the shop first. Your instincts are terrible. Go to the place where the clear murderer works. You yeah. Oh, well, fuck me then. Uh, <laughs> Dwang, hello, mon ami, you startled me. That was easier. He's acting kind of weird. He isn't shoplifting, is he? <laughs> Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure, here. Wah! <laughs> Takes my hand and runs from the store. Am I just the Bond girl in this? What are you doing? Why'd you drag me into the empty hallway I was just in five minutes ago? Are you excited? No! Oh. Why do you come and talk to me, Mommy? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? <laughs> just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. You've always been a diligent girl, Hyoko. You know, hanging around me is dangerous though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? You might get. I was gonna make a like AIDS joke here, but fine. Shot, knife, dismembered, drowned, buried alive. That sort of thing. Wah! <laughs> Don't think too hard. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I'm going to disappear from the school soon, Monami. I know it isn't easy, but you should forget about me. That'll be for the best. Guys are dead serious, I don't think he's joking. Kinda hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. No! Take me with you! End of his meat. Quilpins in the shop. Dwang, well. Why do you think I'm so forward, mon ami? What and why do you think I work in the infirmary? Live an honest, happy life. Adieu. He's a ghost. Wait! Was it you here all along? I think he's a secret agent. He's talking to the janitor. We get our finals back today. Uh, There's enough of a test. Yeah, we read that. Saka! Ah! Oh, ah! Blah! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Oh, ah! Yeah! <laughs> Summed up in noises. It's mostly skeletal noises. The sun, majestic, brilliant, sweeps across the land, lighting it in incandescent. Oh, I read that. Uh, still, uh, still alive! Always something. Current objective survive. Uh, always good to be alive. Lots of birds here already. Da 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 plumage. Da 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 amulet. Da 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 da. I think I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on you. I think I'll buy one for conquest. Here you go. Are you here? Do you want lunch? No, you suck. Well, fuck you. Okay. Thanks for telling me I suck. Now fuck off. <laughs> mm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune? The chicken of ill omen. Every year it's the same. Java blessing. That's different. Wait, isn't that? He's back! You yeah! Happy new salutations. You just he just says that for everything. He just puts salutations on everything. <clears throat> Happy new salutations to you too, you weirdo. Uh, meet you on the first day of the new year. Very good omen. Java blessing. Did you come alone? No. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. Suspish. But I found you instead. I can't say this is a wild goose chase, mon ami. I think I shall thank to the god of the fate to count. Adieu! 
he was in a hurry. Happy New Year! Oh! Yeah. Nothing to worry about. It is a picture. I will buy bitter black beans. Pretty sure that was the right answer. Time to give beans. I want to go give you your beans, but I don't even know if he's alive anymore. I guess I'll have to call him maybe. <coughs> Fuck. Salutations, mon ami. <coughs> oh, he answered. Hello. <coughs> How are you? Where are you? I'm fine. I cannot say where I am. Best men always have a mystery or 2,000. Do you need me or something? For something. Can we meet up for a bit, please? Our only ask is Wance. A once in a lifetime request, in other words. Really? A once in a lifetime plus plenty more times in the same lifetime request. Sounds important. You can't exactly say no. Now can I? Should I meet at the usual place? There's a usual place in the part tonight, say at 8. Okay! Time spent waiting for a lady is a magical, irreplaceable time. Bleh. Don't tell people that, then they'll spend even more time getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted to meet with me for? Oh yeah! I want to give you some beans. You wanted to give me beans. You dragged me out to the middle of the night for beans. <laughs> yes. Great. Excellent. I'm glad I risked my life to come here. Wonderful. <laughs> glad I read that right. I thought maybe your mature manly spirit would like these. Bit of black beans. Thank you. I've loved these since I was but a child. Had I told you that? No. But I never fail, even when I do. I see. We are truly bound together by fate. How romantic. How romantic. This gives me hope and caffeine to carry me through the darkest of nights. Oh, bitter black beans. I get it. I get the thing. Adieu. And so he disappeared and I fucked up the ending. I can't say I have any more of an idea what he's up to than I ever do. I'm glad he liked the beans. Oh, bit of black beans like coffee. Yeah, I see now. Like, that's where you got the caffeine. Oh, yeah. I don't I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you just saw him. Since New Year's. Just gave him... I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I could drown my sorrows in video games. Well, that's relatable. Wait, isn't that <laughs> you? Yeah. Why are you stalking me? You look like you're doing pretty well. I have some stuff to do with you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> could you not grab me? I have a girlfriend. Dwang. Is your wing bro? Look out! Gone! Opening fire on a lady, such insufferable cans. <laughs> Run! What's going on? Please explain. What are you? Why are you? Why are people trying to kill me? Are you a wanted ham? 
I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Whoa, yeah, we got the law. Do you know of the Hawk and Dove Party? The supremacist groups. Yeah. <laughs> they were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. <clears throat> the, the, whoa, so literally a supremacist group. Great. Dove Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans. So, nice. While the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room for birds. Supremacist. <clears throat> if you ever had to have it explained to you. <laughs> Secret experimental institute created by the Hawks. And why did they allow a human to come in? What? It's not like the entire faculty is working from. There's only one Hawk agent actually working at the school. I was dispatched by the doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiment. I'm a wanted ham. I'm proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clandestine information retrieval and information is valuable. I imagine you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary. The Hawk agent is... Nanaki, no. <laughs> Correct, you're not an idiot. It's an assumed name, obviously. What? And they hired one. And he's been killing birds. I'm between two each other in the school shop. Yes, I think we... All the salt that came from. I found that DNA sandwich from the pens and meshes from missing students. Same goes for much of the poultry. Why are you eating poultry? Why is poultry even being served? If birds are like everywhere. That's fucked up. <laughs> if the doctor was out to exterminate humans, why did he never do anything to moi? Just my interpretation, but I don't think he holds any political ideals. I think he trusts only in his own knowledge and his own power to expand that knowledge. Like a mad scientist. Exacto Mundo. Never occurred to him to target you since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I don't know what the fuck's going on with my curse, but it's going on. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in the school, but in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> now, well... I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave this city tonight. I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just leave you here, Yoko. You, yeah. <laughs> you already have been marked as one of my associates, and if that is the case, leaving you alone would be dangerous. I got you involved. Hardly. I was the one who approached you. You're nice. Hmm. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness? Or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign agents to protect you. I want to... Go with you, yeah. I want to go with you. Are you sure? You're putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Somehow I was hoping you said that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. Nothing more keeping us here, then. Let's go. We literally walked into the darkness. Uh, sometime in the future, a pair of spies on the end of for justice beyond the frail curtain of society will pass into legend. But that's another story. No, hmm. no screenshot or nothing of them doing cool shit. To be fair, he's working on the good side here, not the extremist lunatic side, so... We're learning more. We're learning more. Every day we learn a little more. So yeah, there it is. Yeah, nothing new here. Look here. I feel like one of these is new. Reference bird deceased. 
The death of Subject Zero's relative has been confirmed. His remains are stored in Area D3, Section 1. They are boxed and processed. Creepy. Creppy. Spoopy. Well, there we go. There's another one for you all. For all. Yay! Next time we do another, I guess. How many more we even got left? Not many, right? 